Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. I'm pretty excited for today's episode. We are going to be hitting, uh, we're going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. And I finally did it. We're going to be getting our final gemstone chambers for our Devon set. We are getting that much closer to finally having a max mining set up our Iron Man Profile. And that just makes me so, so excited because every little thing that we max out is basically getting us closer and closer to the late, late game of high pixel skyblock here on our profile. So if this is your first time here on the channel and you're not yet subscribed, I highly recommend that you do. We're getting close to like, this might even be episode 250 now of the Iron Man series. So uh, if you want to go ahead and you're new here, there's a lot of content for you to catch up on if you choose to. So I highly recommend that. Leave a like on the video though. This episode gets 2000 likes, then you can expect another one tomorrow at 5 p.m. EST. Two things super quickly. My Lunar Cloak is currently on sale. This is like the best time for you to pick it up. I highly recommend you go check it out as well as that i'm also giving away three of them on my twitter i'm gonna leave a link to the giveaway in the description down below i highly recommend you enter it's completely free all you have to do is retweet a tweet and maybe drop me a follow on twitter another thing if you are thinking about picking up something during this holiday season on the hypixel store consider using code zach that is z-a-c-h on checkout that is my creator code it helps directly support me so consider using that shout out to everyone who has been using it you guys are insane but without further ado let's get right into today's episode so since we finished getting all of our worm membranes recently it is now time to do the second most tedious thing in this update which is sludge grinding i need 20 stacks of sludge so that i can make four gemstone mixtures for our four gemstone chambers if that makes any sense it, it adds up in my head i think it makes sense i'm gonna be doing this for a little while though i need a lot of sludge juice 20 stacks to be exact started with like 20 something i had just laying around so that was kind of nice but uh yeah, I'm in the jungle with my jungle pickaxe, and um, yeah, just gonna be kind of swinging away at some hardstone. I'll cut back with progress, and hopefully this doesn't take as long as the worm fishing did. And just like that, the first five stacks are done. That is a quarter of the sludge that we need. Also, something I just realized, I think this is the last sludge I need to grind for. No, it's not. It actually isn't. I just remembered like drill upgrades and... Uh, I think actually the 655 might actually require some uh, gemstone mixtures as well, so it won't be. But this will be the last uh, sludge we have to grind for a good while, at least, which is very, very exciting, and uh, that has me very excited. Like, we already have our Artifact of Power, we already got our full Devon set, obviously. This is the last we need for the chambers. This is like the last of the sludge we'll need to grind for a good bit, which is pretty exciting. But uh, definitely not the end of it, I guess, now that I think about some of the other things. So, yeah, but we're a quarter of the way done. Not too bad so far, honestly. We're gonna keep going. These guys are ridiculous. They've been watching me uh, sludge grind and they're killing a tribe member in a pit, bro. Like this just looks and feels wrong. I don't, li I don't like the vibe. I don't like the vibe. I'm gonna go back to uh, grinding for sludge. Don't mind me over here. Just a few more and then we're at the halfway mark. There we go. The halfway mark, baby. That is beautiful. So close yet so far. Oh my goodness. Sludge grinding is like Honestly, similar to like worm fishing. Sometimes you get a bunch of sludge. Other times you just don't get sludge for like a little bit. And it's just uh, a little bit of something you have to get used to. So something I'm getting used to again because I haven't had to do this in a good while. And luckily I won't have to do it again for a while. So halfway done, 10 more stacks of sludge to grow to go. And then we actually have to mine a little bit of gemstones so we can actually make these gemstone mixtures. So it's the next day now around the evening again. I just played like no troll like six hours of valorant with squid and uh that stuff's got me quite rage induced so i've come back to the humble abode of skyblock where i'll be mining for sludge juice and uh it's my happy place i guess you could say i'm not even sure if i can say that sludge grinding is just one of my least favorite things to do but it's gotta get done and to be honest we have very little left so it's time that i hop on grind this out and finish off strong as you guys can see i nearly have enough for the third of four so we're almost at 15 stacks i need to get to 20 so we are not far away at all the other great thing i've said this many many times the ores that you get from this actually add up so quickly it helps so much you get so many ores from this so much coal iron gold uh you get a good amount of lapis as well redstone everything in between so uh if you need ores honestly and you want to passively get them while like um powder grinding or grinding for sludge just uh, so many things you've been grinding for by mining in the crystal hollows and honestly you just get a ton of ores like look at all this iron here look at all this iron i just mined that's actually thousands of iron which is kind of insane so yeah i'm gonna keep grinding away we're almost at three and then we only have one more to go after this so 
Pretty exciting. The end is near, and then we can start throwing all this into the fort. And there we go. We're at three. We have one more to go. We need five more stacks, which is not bad whatsoever. I'm going to grind this out, and then we have to grind for some gemstones as well, because I still need some amethyst, jade, amber, and sapphire to actually go ahead and make these into uh, gemstone mixtures. So we'll grind for that right afterwards, but that will not take long, especially with my Devon set nowadays. We actually just shred through like the small amounts you need. Like you only need a couple fine of each and we just shred through that. So that will not take long at all. So uh, we'll do that right after we finish grinding for all the sludge. But I'm going to go ahead, quiet up and uh, get five more stacks of sludge juice. Let's finish this off. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. All of the sludge juice that we need for our four gemstone mixtures has now been obtained. All that is left is for you guys to buy the Lunar Cloak. Now, uh, all that's left is for us to go ahead and get the gemstones. So, I'm going to start with Amethyst. I do have a little bit saved up here, but not too much. Uh, keep in mind, two of those, like most of those gems are the two flawless there. Um, I'm actually going to do some math and see how much I need in total, because I'll do some math and then we'll know exactly what we have to grind for. So, I need 16 fine of each for these four, so that comes up to about 102,000. So, right now, I have... Uh, 1 million 70k but obviously 1 million 24k that like actually here let's go ahead and take out the uh, flawless just to confuse myself less so yeah there we go we know exactly what we need let me go ahead and uh grab out my gauntlet and i'm gonna get to mining this shouldn't take too too long maybe i'll even make a little timer right now it is 10 30 p.m so let's see how long it takes us to get all the uh amethyst that we need i'm not even joking it's 10 31 now and uh if we go ahead and look I have all the amethyst I need. That is um a lot easier than I thought it would be. I'm going to be completely honest, but I'm not going to complain by any means. So let me go ahead and lobby hop. So we can actually go ahead and get the last ones we need. And just like that, we have all the amber that we need, which is beautiful. So we have our amethyst, we have our amber. We just still need some jade and we still need some sapphire. So uh, we don't need much sapphire at all, by the way, like very little. So... Yeah, the trick is, honestly, just lobby hop until you find it. Do not... I see so many people, the twins included, Twinkle 1 and Twinkle 2, are very, very guilty of this. They will just stay in the lobby forever without changing. Like, do not be afraid to go ahead and lobby swap because it will save you an actual ton of time if you can't find what you're looking for. And in fact, right here, I think we uh, we found some, a jade spot. So, yeah, going to go ahead and mine some jade now. And, uh, yeah, then I'll be back and then we'll just have Sapphire left to do. Oh, my goodness, homie is... Uh, Quite aggressive right now and just like that we should be done all the jade we are we're done the jade we are done the amber we are done the amethyst we just need sapphire and we don't need much of it so i'm gonna lobby hop here for a second and uh hopefully we uh find our way into a precursor remnants where i can get the last out what do i say you ask and you shall receive that's what I'm talking about. This should not take long. I'll be back in just a sec. So I zoned out for like an extra minute and we are sitting at over 200k sapphire, which means I should have everything that I need to go ahead and get all this going. We have all the materials we need for our last four Devon chambers. We just have to get them cooking. That's all we have to do. All we have to do is get these things in the oven, get these babies cooking up, and uh, and then we will be closer and closer to freedom, which is beautiful. The people like, oh, I just can't wait to have a max mining setup. A max mining setup on Iron Man. Like, that's, a, that's just crazy. So let's go ahead and get to the forge and start cooking all this stuff up. Now, just a little bit of cookie clicking to do. Not much, honestly. So uh, I'm not too stressed about it because when I have a lot of cookie clicking to do, that's when I get a little bit stressed because uh, it does take a lot longer than this is currently taking. This will not take me long at all to go ahead and click up. Let's go ahead and get all the sapphire out. A little bit more than I had for the other two. Amber and Jade have already been compressed all the way. But I don't know, there's something a little bit satisfying about just clicking away here knowing I'm, knowing I'm doing something, you know? So that's, that's kind of nice. But uh, almost all compact. There we go, all into fine. We actually got 32 fine, not bad at all. And go ahead and grab out the amethyst, turn this into a fine as well as the flood. Toss that into my personal compactor, drop that in there and then cookie click away. This will only take a second. There we go, dump it all back in. And now we should have everything. So let's go ahead and take out our fine jade, amber, sapphire and amethyst. And then we can go ahead and start taking out where did I actually put it. I have to find it now, oh no, okay. Um. Here, I put, I put all the sludge here, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get this cooking up. First one, gemstone mixture, got all the materials. That's number one. Number two, all the sludge, all the gemstones, beautiful. Number three, boom, and then I should have one more stack just chilling in here, and yes I do. Number four, boom, there we go. So in four hours, all these will be done, and then we can go ahead and toss them back in and turn them into chambers. 
The end is near, the end is near. So while I've been waiting for my gemstone mixtures to be complete, they got about 25 minutes left of that four hour span. I kind of just chilled out for a bit, um, ended my stream and uh, kind of just been vibing in the call, helping Zembi with his subathon, keeping the chat uh, satisfied, I guess you could say. But at the moment, I've been mining Amber. That's the next big step for me and making this setup max. That's like the last thing I have to do for the actual armor set wise is putting perfect Amber in. So I've been mining Amber, uh, as you can see here in the, uh, Goblin Queen's Den, and so far so good. I'm not sure how long I've been mining for now at this point, kind of off and on, uh, been getting distracted, and um, yeah, just doing my best to keep powering through it. So far, I've mined uh, 3.2 million amber, which is not terrible. That is enough for at least a perfect, as well as like 700k extra, so we're making good progress. I want to try and get to at least two perfects tonight, and then maybe tomorrow in the next video, uh, we can actually go ahead and finish off all the perfect amber, which is... Definitely a grind. I have a lot of perfect amber to get, not only for the armor set, but for my gauntlet, as well as for my artifact of power. I need to put perfect amber in all those things. So uh, yeah, I gotta put the time in, but in 24 minutes, we can go ahead and collect our gemstone mixtures and go ahead and toss in the gemstone chambers. So I'm super, super excited for that. I'm gonna keep mining until that's done, and then we can make our way over to the forge and we can start our final chambers. That is actually so hype, oh my goodness. So I've been mining Amber for a little bit longer and the forge is now complete. So I'm gonna finish this vein or these last three uh, blocks here, and then we're gonna head over. But a little update on the Amber, now sitting at 4.4 mil. Not too shabby if I don't say so myself. We're gonna go ahead and quit, uh, do a quick warp forge. Head on over here, we have our babies ready. Four gemstone mixtures. One, two, three, four. That is actually gorgeous. And then I need to remember, here's the worm membranes. We have our 400 worm membranes. That is insane. The last ones we'll ever need. Also, sidebar, uh, my endermite is now level 100. Obviously still needs quite a bit more XP, so it has enough for legendary level 100. But soon I'm gonna have to go back into the end and mine eight stacks of enchanted end so we can actually upgrade that bad boy. But here we go. Finally, the last four times I will ever have to click on this until they add more stuff into the game that may require gemstone chambers. Here we go. One. Oh my goodness. Number two. Beautiful. Number three. Boom. And last, but definitely not least, our last gemstone chamber. Four. Oh my goodness. And in four hours... We can slap that onto the armor, and we will have all of our slots unlocked. What a grind. What a what an actual grind. I can't believe it. We're going to have all of our gemstone chamber slots. That is just... That's too exciting. So, there you have it. It is currently 3.55 a.m. for me. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go to bed. And unfortunately, that means that our gemstone chambers still have over three hours left in the forge. I'm going to have to pick those up in the morning, which means you guys will see that in the next episode, as well as us getting some perfect ambers, starting to put those into those final slots, and overall just getting ridiculously close to having this set completely maxed, which has me super, super excited. If you guys did enjoy today's episode at any single point, consider subscribing, leave a like on the video, comment down below if you enjoyed it. Let me know you guys want to see me grind next on this profile. We have a lot to do, so I'd love to see what you guys want to hear me grind out next. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, check out the Lunar Cloak, use my credit code. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.